can unmute. Yes, Julia and Olga and Vladimir, you have the button. Mute, unmute. Hello, Ruslana. Hello, Julia. Hi. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Nice Hello, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How is your morning? Fine, thanks. Fine, okay. Hello, Ivan. Okay. Ruslana, if you want us to hear you, you can unmute. So click the button. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ruslana. How are you? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Good. Друзья, позвольте, я скажу пока на русском, пока будут э, собираться остальные участники. Добро пожаловать э, в наш э, онлайн открытый урок английского языка, э, проект «Английский для коучей» в рамках Комитета развития коучей. И э, что я хотела сказать. Э, сегодняшний наш урок посвящен тому, чтобы вы могли попробовать, вы могли посмотреть, как будет проходить наше обучение и принять для себя решение о возможности прохождения дальнейшего обучения. Но сразу хочу вам сказать, чем вам может быть интересна эта программа. Во-первых, проект этот рассчитан именно и разработан как индивидуальная программа и будет проанализированы потребности каждого участника. А Во-вторых, ну как же тут без такого современного коммуникативного подхода, который будет давать нам возможность обучаться эффективнее, отрабатывать материал в парах, мини-группах. Вот мы будем стараться это сделать максимально. И каждое занятие будет разработано с использованием таких авторских материалов. Мы будем использовать статьи с ICF Ukraine, рассматривать видео, конференции англоязычных коучей. И, соответственно, будем расширять свой словарный запас. То есть наша цель, я думаю, для каждого из вас своя цель, и мы постараемся ее определить. И самое главное — это наконец-то принять решение как изучать английский вместе в кругу единомышленников вот в таком специальном такой среде поддерживающей среде где мы с вами разговариваем на одном языке на языке коучинг и строим отношения в стиле коучинг я благодарю вас за внимание мы можем начинать вот елена это наш преподаватель Hello, everyone. Да. Thank you, Svetlana, for this introduction. I would like to add also that this course will be around three months and uh, also will include some materials, some general English and some specific materials for coaches, right? And uh, that's why I would like you to take an active role in creating this course together with me. Uh, and uh, please also share this responsibility for your result and for your achievement. Uh, so a little bit um, about uh, the rules. Um, probably in your coaching session, yeah, you set up rules uh, in the f very first meeting. So I'd like to hello, Olga, set up uh, some rules here as well. Uh, so the first rule um, will be from me and then you can add your rules as well that you think are appropriate. So the first one is to speak English, or at least try to speak English as much as possible. If you don't know the word, that's absolutely okay. You can ask me, yeah, what's Novstrecha uh, in English, right, or something else. Uh, you can ask, uh, that will be the first rule. You can ask me any questions anytime, so please don't be shy. Uh, so we're here to get more knowledge, get more vocabulary, so please ask every time you need. Um, good, so the third rule will be to take an active role, not only here in Zoom, in our classroom, let's say virtual classroom, but also outside. Yeah, so that's why you will need to do some exercise if you want to see results um, faster, right, and do some homework. Okay, it won't be boring homework, I promise. 
but this is, will be something that you will need to do anyway. So this will be three basic rules. Would you like to add your rules to, to our classroom, to our participation? I have one. Yes. Have one request. Always, always be in the good mood. Okay, great rule, Alina. So always smile, always be in a good mood or try. Mm -hmm. And my slogan is feel free. Feel free. Not, nothing else, yes. Exactly, good. So feel free, express yourself. Yes. yes. Talk. Yes. Good, nice rule. Anyone else? You have mute. Mm -hmm. I would say be engaged in the process. Yes, fantastic. Yes, be engaged. Great, I like it. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, so we have enough rules, I think. Yes, to follow, to keep them in mind and re remind ourselves every time. Uh, so well done. So a little bit uh, about, uh, so I've uh, already introduced slightly the course and I would like to introduce myself as well. Uh, I will send in our chat some information about me and I would ask you, so some, you will see some statements about me as a teacher and, uh, but some statements will be uh, correct and some sentences will be not correct. And your task will be to uh, decide, so which statements are correct and which statements are uh, false, incorrect. Um, so you can open, uh, if uh, you look at the right side, you will see uh, the Word file. And I will also show it uh, for everyone on the screen. So what do you have to do? Look at the list of uh, uh, these statements about me as your teacher and uh, find out what statements are true and what statements are false, correct and not correct about me. You were not born in Barcelona, I suppose. I'm sorry, can you say it again? You were not born in Barcelona. Ah, I was, um, I was not born in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is false. Mm -hmm. Any other? I you, Ruslana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I suppose you did study English at school. Uh, study English, <laughs> not Spanish, right? Uh, the, the last one, I didn't study English mm. in school, I studied German. I suppose. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Anyway. That's true. So, study all my life. Yeah. <laughs> Starting from, uh, from first grade, I think, at school. With Ruslana, Andrew, what, what do you think? Uh, Elena, uh, tell me, please, how many incorrect sentences in this? Uh, well, I wouldn't tell you. Maybe they are all incorrect. <laughs> all incorrect? L let's keep an in mind. I don't think so. <laughs> I've been working in British Council for seven years. What mm -hmm. do you think? I think it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Actually, it's... Mm, well, I've been working in British Council for three years. Uh, but I've had around... Before British Council, I'd been working for also four years as uh, a teacher in different courses. Yes, yeah, so it's around, four, uh, around seven years that I've been working as a teacher, but three years that I've been working as a teacher in British Council. So this is uh, true and false at the same time. True that I'm still working in British Council and false that it's um, not seven years, but three years. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six more sentences. So just uh, trust your intuition 
and uh, I will correct you, even if, uh, for example, the answer is wrong. Uh, what does it mean, uh, rope jumping? Mm. Uh, so rope jumping, this is a very extreme um, activity. So you have a bridge, yes, Truhanov, yes, from, yes, you, uh, from land to Truhanov Island. So we have a bridge and it's kind of bungee jumping, but with a rope. Yeah, so you jump from the bridge with this uh, rope. So what would you say? I would say no. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you agree? Svetlana, Ruslana? Yes, I agree. So it's too extreme, yes? Uh, actually, this, is, this one is uh, right. I've tried rope jumping and it was absolutely frightening, very scary. And I couldn't say that I would recommend it to anyone else. Yeah, but I did it. Cool. Have you tried something extreme in your life? For example, jump with a parachute or jump, uh, bungee jumping or road jumping. Um, or maybe climbing. I did paragliding. Uh, wow. mm -hmm. And I think it's, well, for me, it was ex kind of extreme thing. It was in Nepal. And it was, I would recommend actually to do everybody. Um, but, and I would really uh, like to do once again because it's, it's nice, but, but it's extremely. Yeah. yeah, but views in Nepal, I bet. Views are, uh, yeah, are awesome. beautiful. Yeah, that's true. Great. I remember I have tried diving. Oh, I no. forgot for this. <laughs> it's also extreme. Yes, very extreme. So it was for me very extreme for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Very and did you like it? Yes. And where was it? In Egypt. In Egypt, nice. Mm -hmm. So colorful fish everywhere. Yes, nice. yes. So many fish. It was very. Uh, I um, Bayatsa, scared. Scared. I was scared. I was scared because my uh, hair was. Uh, uh -huh. so you can say that ache, yes, aching. Was aching, yeah. But uh, I, I felt pain in my ears. Yeah, I felt I felt pain, and when we um, spustilis vnis, when we went down, when we went down, I uh, relaxed, and oh. I see so beautiful uh, underwater world. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's great that you overcame this fear, yes? So you yes. stopped being so scared. Yes. Okay, good. So uh, let's quickly uh, uh, finish, yes, with the sentence. Just say whether it is uh, false or true. I've participated in the European Union program English for Civil Servant in the administration of the president. What do you think, true or false? True, yes? I think it has to be true. It has to be true. Mm. Okay, it has to be true. Nice formulation. It is, it, is true. it is true. Okay, so thank you, Andrew. It is true. Uh, yes, it was a European Union program for civil servants, uh, and it lasted for two years. Unfortunately, it's over already, but I, I'm glad that I took part in it. So it was very interesting. I'm studying Spanish uh, now. Possible. Possible, yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. So I'm studying Spanish also in Zoom uh, with a private teacher. Mm -hmm. So I'm also, I know how you feel, yes, as students, right? Uh, that's why I can help you even better because I know how it is, how it's scary, yes, to start speaking, yes, and uh, uh, to overcome this barrier, yes, speaking barrier. I like painting. Yes. I believe that. Yeah, you believe it's yes, yeah? Yeah. Okay. By the way, probably you can see yes, this painting. It's yours. So it, it, it was my try <laughs> to, to copy Van Gogh. Yeah, so I like painting and I do it not very often, but still. 
I had been a model before I started teaching. True, false? False. Go. True, know, false? But go, go, going to be true. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe. seems like true, maybe actually <laughs> false. And I never even thought about being a model. But thank you for the compliment, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, I wrote a scientific article when I studied in university. Do you know what is it, scientific? Yeah. No. Uh, no? no which May you explain? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, scientific, when you, for example, uh, work, uh, uh, when you want to invent something, yes? and you work in university yes uh, and uh, you want to invent something you are a scientist invent yes yeah, so scientist right mm -hmm. so you work on inventing something on you make some research yes and uh, so i wrote a scientific article when i started the university and it was published so i will give you the hint so this is true to save your time so this is true it was uh, a linguistic uh, psycholinguistic article uh, article that combines psychology and language mm -hmm. uh, okay so i want you to do the same uh, so you don't need to write down as many sentences just write down two three sentences in our chat about you so you can write all false sentences. You can write one sentence that is true and one sentence that is false. Or it could be true, two true sentences. You can choose and write them in our chart, and, but don't say whether they are true or false. So we will read and try to understand whether they are true or false. So think about something interesting that you would like to share with everyone. Maybe some extreme sport that you've tried, maybe your hobby, uh, maybe your experience in your life, maybe um, some interesting countries that you visited or something that you've done and uh, you want to share with everyone. So you can type and send to our chat and w then we will do the same. We will try to understand whether you are saying true, truth or you lie. Yes, you say incorrect information. So you'll have two minutes to think, type and send to our chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one first answer. I danced tango. Mm -hmm. Alina wrote it. No, Svetlana. Aha, uh -huh. Svetlana. Yes, dance tango. Hmm, in cage with tigers. That's interesting. Right point. Wonderful. You have one minute. You can write two sentences, right? If you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So two sentences from Julia, great. Andrew, you can type anything you like about your hobbies, about your experience. I've been working uh -huh. five years. Olga, Ninel. Twenty seconds left. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Good. So we have some sentences. So what do you think about your mates? Elena, could you please repeat? Because yes. So what sentences are? Look at all of these sentences. Which one are true? Ones yes and sentences are for instance uh, Svetlana, yes, I dance tango. Is it your sentence? I don't hear you well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay, so um mm -hmm. so what do you think? Andrew, Ruslana, yeah, Julia, Olga, Ivan, Alina, what do you think? Is it true or false? True. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> Julia, are you sure? Do you know it for sure? I just, I don't know it for sure, but I just looked at the face of Svetlana and... Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes it's difficult, yes, to work with psychologists because they can read, yes, all information from... <laughs> I <got you. laughs> yes, I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, sh I must uh, switch off yes, my so camera. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, Andrew, what do you think? Uh, do, has Tatiana uh, tried tango? Sorry, could you repeat? Because yeah, has Tatiana tried tango, dancing tango? Svetlana. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Svetlana, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. So, Svetlana, is it true? Yes, is it true? Okay, wonderful. And when was it? It was uh, one year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so amazing hobby for me because um, tango it's um, like a therapy. Mm, that's yes. true. Yeah, uh, nice be, therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, to be uh, near um, a man <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, Allow to allow, yes, yeah? allow him, mm -hmm. allow him this tea. to lead you. To leaders, lead. yeah, leaders, yeah. what they do, they lead you. Yeah. yeah, so very pleasant, I think, experience. Yes. Um, okay, thank you. About, I was in the same cage with Tiger, Alina was in the same cage with the Tiger. Do you believe it? Do you think it's true? It's true, true. Mm -hmm. Alina can, yes. Yeah, Alina she can. Okay, <laughs> yeah. She can do it. Okay, poor tiger, yes. <laughs> tiger, no, yes. Who has to? I think it, it was very wonderful moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. So true? Yes, everyone agrees? Mm -hmm. I agree. So, okay, Alina, what do you think? Alina, <laughs> is it true? Uh, yes, it's true, and I guess Svetlana remember this uh, post from Facebook where I had a picture from the page. And um, actually, it was a lot of uh, adrenaline in the blood. Mm -hmm. It was not funny at all. It was so much scared. But uh, I believe that we have to go um, and take a look in eyes of our escape. So it was something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Wasn't it dangerous? Um, it wasn't dangerous. Actually, they claim in the park where I went, it was in Poland, that it's not dangerous at all. But when you see such huge cat, uh, <laughs> you cannot believe that he could be not dangerous or that he like uh, have a character of uh, uh, kitty. So it's quite, it feels quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can imagine. Okay, thank you for sharing. Uh, okay, so next will be from Julia, right? Ah, no, from uh, about poems, yeah? Mm, so Svetlana uh, writes poems. Mm -hmm. You can say, I think it might be true, it must be true. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Okay, Svetlana, is it true? Yes, it's true. Okay, good. So poems in English? No. Not yet? <laughs> no, it's so, maybe it's, after the in English, yes. in English, it's challenge for me now. Mm -hmm. It was in Russian. 
I read in Russia. Nice. About love? Mm. About coaching? No. <laughs> About life. About life. Great. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, so next was, uh, I love from two sentences from Julia. What do you think? Which one is true? Which one is false? Or maybe ah, three sentences from Julia. So tell me, uh, I think I, it might be, I guess it's true. I think all these uh, sentences are true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the which one is true? All of this. All of them. All of them true. All of them. Okay. Andrew, what do you think? I think first one is uh, true, second one is true, and the uh, third one is uh, false. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, twenty-eight countries. Yeah, looks like everything is true. So, Julia, tell us. Andrew knows me very well. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie. Um, we have special, you know, kind of. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, actually, two of them are true and one is false. I don't speak Spanish fluently. Mm -hmm. But you speak Spanish a little bit. No, so. I don't. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> ah, not yet at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we have. Uh, from uh, uh, Alina, right? I made parasailing. Interesting. Uh, Alina, can you tell us a little bit what is parasailing? Um, okay, uh, this is when um, you go not with a parachute, uh -huh. but uh, I don't know how to even explain it. It's like not a plane, not a parachute, but you are flying in the air. Aha, uh -huh. very interesting. Okay, so it looks like Alina knows what she's talking about, right? Looks like Krilia. Aha, uh -huh. wind. Yeah, wind. Wind, okay. yeah. Okay, good. So I think it's true. Alina, what do you, so is it true? Yep, it's true. Mm -hmm. And the last one from Andrew. I've been working as seaman for 25, for 25 years and I like to ride a bike. I don't know. The first is definitely true. Um, and the second one, I would say yes. <laughs> okay, yes. Andrew, so tell us. I was, you know. How we <laughs> Uh, I am still work as a seaman. It's more than 25 years for the moment, you know. And I still work because I, I like so much that jobs. It's a job of my dream, you know, I still work. And I like the ride the bike. i waiting just, you know, for a good weather for that. Fantastic. <laughs> did you know that before? Ladies, did you know that? No. Uh, I knew. Uh, not about bicycle. I, I was, well, I was hesitating about bicycle, but then I um, uh, I made the decision for bike. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. but, and I, um, about seamen, about the profession of Andrew, I know. I didn't know the exact numbers of uh, years, mm -hmm. how many years did he spend in this profession, mm -hmm. but it, uh, it's very close, so <laughs> that's why mm -hmm. I was so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. So you see how many information now you can know about uh, each other. Uh, okay, so I sent uh, your uh, two private messages uh, to some of you, mm, uh, correcting yes possible uh, mistakes. So you shouldn't be worried about mistakes. It's good. It means that you learn something. It's a sign of learning. Uh, just a comment uh, about um, uh, to everyone, yes, uh, a common thing. Uh, we say, I have uh, done something, yeah, when it's about experience. Uh, experience and the time is unknown, 
maybe one year ago, maybe 10 years ago, we don't care or we don't know. Uh, so I have done, time is unknown, so I will send to you chat. I did something, yes, when we say when, we know when exactly. For example, one year ago, yes, uh, I, I wrote an article or in general, yes, I have uh, written an article. When we, when we, we know when. Specific time, uh, like yesterday, yes, or one year ago, etc. So we will uh, talk about this topic a little bit more uh, next time. But today, uh, I think that the, to know more about each other, yes, and in general, this is something that coaches probably do a lot. Um, can you guess what topic we will discuss today? Something that coaches do a lot, yes, to get information. Questioning and listening? Yes, yes, though, so we will practice with questions, yes, and how to make questions in different uh, tenses. Mm -hmm. um, before that, uh, take a look at um, um, just a second, I will share my screen with you. So take a look at uh, these sentences that we've discussed before about me. Uh, and some tenses you have used, it's great from you, yes, so especially Andrew, yes, and uh, Julius have used them uh, a lot. Um, so I've been working in British Council for seven years, I'm studying, I have tried. So you have the variety of different topics and all these topics we will learn um, with you during these three months. At least I'm planning to. So take a look at uh, the screen you have uh, words in brackets. Do you see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you have to do? You have one minute. So take a piece of paper, yes, or something next to you. And your task will be to write down only one, this word, but in the correct tense. Uh, for example, you can write down, I worked, or I works, or I work, or I've been working, or I have worked. Yes, so write down only one word, what you have in brackets, but in the correct time, in the correct tense. You have two minutes approximately to write down on the piece of paper. One more minute.
finish please writing ready okay so I will show you the correct answers please check if you have the same Okay, so um, please save uh, this copy somewhere and at the end, after three months, we will check. Um, this. We will do this short test again and you will see how many correct answers you can write. Uh, so have you made any mistakes? Yeah, I made. Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, in the... First synthesis, I have been working mm -hmm. and <coughs> sorry, and the uh, third one I'm studying. I write, I study Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you for sharing, Andrew. So I'm studying, yes, when you're talking about something that you are doing now or these days. Yeah, for example, I'm studying Spanish or I'm writing um, a poem. Yes, maybe not in this moment, at this moment, but these days I'm writing uh, poems. But not always, not every day. Uh, okay, mm. I've been working, yes, you can say about, um, uh, for example, something that you are still doing. For example, I'm still uh, teaching in British Council, uh, but also I have some experience. And uh, I have uh, seven years yeah, of this experience. Yes, three years actually. How long? Yes, in this case, we can say I have been working. I have been studying English. Yes, and you are still studying English. Or I have been tried, um, um, I have been working as a seaman, right? So the same, yes. Uh, I have been practicing coaching for five years. How long have you been practicing coaching? You ask for everyone. Yeah, so this is the question for everyone. How long have you been practicing or how long Just have you been working? Two days ago, I'm counting, you know, for the moment is uh, almost two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so you can say I have been working as a coach for two years, right? I have been working as a coach as for two years. Okay, Slana, Julia, what about you? I have been practicing. Mm -hmm. in coaching for uh, more than three years. More than three years, nice. Mm -hmm. I have been working as a coach uh, for more than two years. Mm -hmm. Okay, around two years, good. Uh, good, so any other mistakes? If yes, I can explain, yes. If no, we can just uh, move to questions. How to make questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can move. Yeah, so, okay, good. So no mistakes, well done. Uh, good. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I will, um, so in coaching probably, yes, you ask questions a lot of times. What kind of questions do you ask? Open questions. Open questions, yes? yes. Like what? Can you give an example? Um, oh my God! Почему это важно для тебя? For example, uh -huh. why it's very impossible mm -hmm. for you? Yes. Okay. Nice question. Why is it important for you? Important. Yeah. Yes. Why? Why is important for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. What other questions? Um, 
что будет лучшим результатом. It's very difficult for uh, for mm -hmm. me in English. Okay, what will be the the best year yeah, result? Uh -huh, okay. What will be the best result of our mm -hmm. session? Uh huh. Okay, good. What would you good? What would you like to achieve? To achieve right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. What would you like to talk about today? Uh huh. Okay. As an alternative. Yes, what would you like to talk? What would you like to achieve? Fantastic, good. Anything else? Do you ask about uh, their job, for example, or their families? About experience. About experience, fantastic. What can you ask about experience? Mm. Do, you have exper do you have an experience in coaching? Mm. Like that. Okay, good. Do you have, fantastic, why not? Yes, do you have an experience in coaching? Mm -hmm. What do you know about coaching? Mm -hmm. Fantastic, good. Mm -hmm. What else? Guys, help. <laughs> what do you know about? Uh, can you ask, uh, for example, have you, uh, have you ever visited uh, or have you ever had coaching sessions? Yeah, it will be correct. Have you ever had coaching session before, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I will make a short, if you don't mind, a coaching session, not to write the whole sentence. Have you ever had coaching sessions before? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Great. Uh, so take a look. Um, yeah. And for example, you can say, um, when was the last time? Yeah. When was the last time you had this session? Mm -hmm. You had session yes mm -hmm. uh, or um, I don't know where did you go last time yeah so it's not a very good question maybe yeah I think you can help me with uh, more appropriate questions for coaching but just for as an example where did you go as for this coaching session uh, okay so if you look at all these examples what can you say how do we make questions How do we make questions? The, mm -hmm, what will be the basic uh, rule, maybe the structure of all questions? Um, glagol, I forgot. Mm -hmm. Glagol. Yeah, so a verb? A verb, yeah. We can put uh, on the first uh, mm -hmm. in questions and we used uh, uh, special uh, words, вопросительные uh, слова. Mm -hmm. Yes, question words, yes. Question you, words. You said correctly, yes, question words. Mm -hmm. So I will show you, uh, so you mentioned correctly, yes, and I will show you on the screen uh, the basic structure of all questions, all questions in all tenses in English. Uh, so take a look. Um, so you said correctly, yes, so we start from question word. If we have this question word, Yes, uh, because Svetlana said uh, she prefer open questions, right? When, where, how, where, or you can say yes, no question. Yes. Yeah. Oh, with uh, and with alternative yes. questions we can use also. And say it again. Uh, alternative, 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 alternative. and uh, uh, уточняющие. Mm -hmm. Okay, so specifying question, yes. Uh, uh, you can say, for example, um, you've been uh, you've been uh, working as a seaman, have you? Right. So, uh -huh. so we will look at all types of questions, but today we will look at how to make them and how to use how to make them in different tenses in different tenses so take a look so we need auxiliary verb auxiliary this is help verb that helps us to make questions and sometimes negative sentences not only questions for example when do they study english they do not study english or what did elizabeth cook for dinner elizabeth did not cook anything for dinner um okay so this is the basic structure and I will send you uh, this presentation uh, into our chat so you will can look at it at home as well. Okay, 
so we start question word, then helper, then subject, who, yes, then main verb, actions, main actions, and then other. For example, when, where, how, and so on. Uh, so if we, um, and yeah, and what kind of help verb can we have? So here you have only simple, do, did, or is. What other possible help verb might be? Have. Have. Mm -hmm. Okay, have, when do we use could, have? Can, would. Uh, could, yes, could, would. So we can have modal verbs. They mm -hmm. also help to make questions. So main question, main help verb is do, is, and have. Okay, so if you look at all tenses in English, this is this chart, yes, all tenses in English. So you can see, yes, that, uh, so we have only did, have, and is. Yes, will be, it's also kind of is, but in the future. So this is how we make all questions in all tenses. Um, so when do we, in what tenses do we use uh, do? In present. In present. Uh, continue, simple, perfect. Oh. Well, if, if we use only do, simple. Yes. Mm -hmm. So do it's present simple. Yes, you can see the first. This is this one. Yeah, the first. Mm -hmm. Do. Okay. Uh, also, we can use uh, in simple do in the past. Yeah, it's did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, also, you can uh, you can use will as a help. Yes. Will you do something in the future simple? So basically, do it's about simple tenses. Yeah. What about M is R? Continuous. Yes, in all continuous, you can see present, past, future continuous. So we use M is R to make uh, questions, yes? So to be, it, M is R in the present was where it's the same, but in the past, and shall will be in the future. So to be, we use for continuous. And for perfect, what do we use? Have. <laughs> Have and has, perfect. Good, so take a look at uh, the, uh, our previous uh, sentences. Yes, I have been working, I have participated, I'm studying. Can you make questions from these sentences? Using have, am, or the. Okay. Uh, Elena, can you show uh, to us this uh, um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, paused. Uh-huh. Uh, just a second. Share. Wait a second. Stop sharing and I will share again. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Uh, yes, here you are. So I have been working. What will be the question? So we put this help verb on the first place, yeah? Uh, where? Have mm -hmm. where? Yes, perfect. Mm -hmm. Where have you been working? Why have you been working? Mm -hmm. Yes, Andrew. Mm -hmm. So you said... I don't, I don't hear you, Andrew. Can you repeat again? Uh-huh. I don't know about why, you know, uh, I mean, the, just in the English is correct words, uh, but as a coaching is maybe not so, you know, not so effective. I think, so. Mm -hmm. Not appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, appropriate. The, why, why you like painting, uh, you know, I don't know. What is painting for you is... Uh, but for like. me, is uh, is more open, you know, for for for, for a client. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good. So, uh, just a second. This is I will write. Yes, this word appropriate. What does it mean? Uh, appropriate. Appropriate means, for example, it's correct sentence, but it's better not to ask. So it's not appropriate. Не подходящий, like... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
not appropriate, maybe, mm, well, not polite or not, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so not a good, not a good idea, yes, to use this question. Okay, thank you, Andrew. Well, very good point, very fair point. Um, good. From coaching point of view, so you can't ask why exactly. Yes, from grammar point of view, so you. Can't. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, and, but it depends on context, you know. So it's uh -huh. uh, tricky. Uh, it, it really depends on context. What what you are talking about? But in yes. this case, and the point, it, it's it's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Ah, okay, it, it, it doesn't share, yes? For instance, you know, uh, if, if we can change, what for do you like mm. paying? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. so this change completely the context. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay, so very good. So we put, uh, so what is the main rule? So we put uh, auxiliary verb on the first place, yes? Have you ever been working in yes. British Council? Have you ever worked? Yes. Have you been ever working? Been working means you are still working. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's something that you are still doing. You know it for sure. So we can ask, um, how long have you been working? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or have you been working? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, about I have participated, Svetlana. This is what you wanted to say. Have you participated? Have you participated? Have you ever participated? Yes, have you ever participated? Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about next one? Uh, so we change, yes? The basic rule is you change. Uh, who, yes, and help verb. Have and I. Have and I, I and am, or I and was, I and had. So you change places. Uh, what language are you studying currently? Perfect, yes. So mm -hmm. you can say, are you studying Spanish or what language are you studying? Perfect. Mm -hmm. What language are you studying? Mm -hmm. Great. About I have tried. So what will be the question? So change, yes, the position. Mm. Do you ever try? Can you say, do you ever? Look, we have have. It, have uh, you ever have tried? Helped. Ah, okay. Yeah, have you tried? So if you uh, have uh, have in the sentence, so we make have as a help verb. So all perfect tenses, mm. questions we make with have. All continuous tenses, questions we make with am, is, are. So if you say, I have participated, have you participated? I am studying, am I studying? I have tried, have I tried? What about I like painting? What tense is it? What would you like? Uh, what would you like? Uh, yes, but uh, this is about future. Uh, what would you like? But you... Do you. What like? do you like? Yeah. yeah exactly. What yeah. do you like? I like painting. Yeah, so this is just simple questions, and you know that simple we make with do or did, if it's past. Now it's present. I had been a model, so what will be the question? So change, yes, help verb. What do, what do you do? Uh, if it's before just, uh, you stop teaching. What do ah, you okay, that's interesting, yes. What had you... What had done? you do? Yeah. Before you started teaching. teaching. Or what, what, uh, what had you been before you started? Yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So had and you, we change places. Had I been or what? Yes. Had you, uh, had you been? Yeah. What, for example, before you started teaching. Very good. So nice. And I was born. Where, where was you born? Yeah, yeah, but the only thing when you say you, we say were, but everything else is correct. Where were you born? Where? I was born. Where? where was I born? Where were you born? Where were you born? Yes, perfect. And I wrote, so be attentive. This is past simple. Uh, all simple tenses we need do or did. Did you wrote? 
did you write maybe yes, did you write exactly a did you write a scientific article when i studied university so you see you can make questions in now in all tenses all possible tenses yeah mm -hmm. so we will look at every tense in uh, separately in the future but i just want to show you that now even you can make questions in every tenses okay if you know this rule right how to make questions okay so we can uh, try a little bit uh, more um, i will um, give you i will send you the word file with some practical exercises and i will give you i will explain what you have to do uh, this is a handout uh, in this handout uh, you will see it's loading just wait a minute in this handout you will see grammar rules something that we've just discussed today with you and you will see some practice some restricted practice uh, so when do we use do when do we use have when do we use am is are or was were mm -hmm. do you see this file Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you see practice exercise? Um, so, the, your file that I sent you looks like this. On the left side, you have some theory, something that we discussed with you. Uh, already that we have discussed already and on the right side so here is some theory yes and this is some practice you have 14 statements 14 questions yeah do you see them yes okay so I will give you around four minutes four five minutes to find mistakes mistakes in these questions for example, number one, how are things with you? Number two, how? It's a mistake. How do you? How do you do? So please add, am, is, are, or was, were, yes, or have some help verbs to make these questions. Okay? So around four minutes, okay? Three, four minutes. You can write in your piece of paper.
You have one minute. So please don't write all sentences, just the part with uh, all the whole question, just the part with the necessary help verb. Am, is, are, or do, does, did, or has, have. Mm -hmm. How is it going? Ready? Okay, good. So, mm -hmm. so let's uh, listen to the correct answers. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a second. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Do you hear it well? No. No? You don't hear it? No? Hmm. Okay. Uh, aha, computer sound, sorry. That was my mistake. Mm -hmm. So one more time. How do you do? Three. What's your full name and address? Four. How was your flight? Five. When did you get here? Six. Did you have a good journey to school this morning? Seven. Where are you staying while you're here? Eight. Have you got any special reason for learning English? Nine. Do you speak any other languages? Ten. 
How's your job going? Eleven. Have you got any brothers and sisters? Twelve. Did you have a nice holiday? Thirteen. Is this your first visit to New York? Fourteen. How is all your family? Module one. Okay, how was it? I have a three mistakes. Three mistakes from yeah. fourteen. It's a great result, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so where do where have you made mistakes? How was your flight? I asked how often do uh, you how, fly? Uh huh. Okay, good. So fly, it's a verb. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if we have a verb, we use do or does or did. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have, yes, flight, it's a noun. Yes, it's not mm -hmm. an action. That's why we need am, is, are or was, were. Как был твой полет? Да, каким был? Literally. Uh, if I, uh, car, um, если я правильно поняла, uh, mm -hmm. when we have a verb, yeah. we use do, does, mm -hmm. or have, has. Yes. Uh, if we have a noun, we mm -hmm. use is, are, or was, where. Yeah, yeah? exactly. Mm -hmm. Good. So how was your flight or how is your flight? Mm -hmm. If it's about every time, yes. How is or present was is yeah mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. so was good any other questions any other mistakes did you have a good journey to school this morning i uh mm -hmm. i asked do you have that's a good uh -huh. good so do you have it's something that happens every day usually every morning but you're talking about uh this morning only mm -hmm. so it happened only once and the next my mistake is where are you staying is correct i asked where have you staying while mm -hmm. you're here mm -hmm. good so staying has ink yeah right it means that it should be continuous because continuous it's something that ends with ink doing uh -huh. i'm doing i'm swimming that's why this ink will give you the idea that it should be something with continuous okay uh, when we use when we use have it's perfect yeah? yes perfect. have you done perfect are you doing continuous do mm -hmm. you do simple mm -hmm. and do the last simple. one yeah and the last uh, one 12 sentence uh, oh. I asked have you have uh, I should uh, miss them instead yes, yes. instead mm -hmm. did you have mm -hmm. uh, good so because uh, have you had a nice holiday in this case it will be correct have you had a nice have holiday had. yes uh -huh. but if you say have so probably we need do you have always a nice holiday or did you have a nice holiday last time mm -hmm. yes yeah, so we will uh, we will uh, re uh, we will revise uh, perfect tenses in our course and uh, other tenses separately mm -hmm. so it's okay thank you uh, good so andrew julia what about your result for me everything is clear yeah, great, fantastic. Was it simple for you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Okay, good. Andrew, what about you? Andrew, Make please on. Mm -hmm. switch on. Sorry, all the time to forget, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I make one more mistake in part number seven. Where you, I write half studying, you know. Ah, where have you been studying? Staying, yeah. Uh -huh. In this case, we need been, yeah? Where yeah. have you been staying? Uh, but normally, as we don't have how long, so this is just... 
So have you been doing, usually we say when, with how long? How long have you been working here? How long have you been studying English? But in this case, just continues, present continues. Where are you staying with, uh, while you're here? And we're talking some about now, yes, about these days. Mm -hmm. So again, I remind you that we will look at uh, continuous tenses also a little bit more uh, in our course with more details. Mm -hmm. So one mistake is great. Good, Andrew, any other mistakes? Any other questions? No, I think not only one mistake, I say uh, ah, one mistake one more, more than... Uh, that we've already discussed. Svetlana, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all these mistakes are just about tenses. And with tenses, we will work more uh, in our course. And also, we will look at uh, every tense more deeply. Yes, so Julia, it will be also interesting for you because we will learn some more details about every tense. So more profound. Okay, so nice. Let's uh, practice a little bit more. Um, I will uh, give you some questions and your task will be uh, just some uh, prompts for the question, the beginning of the question. And your task will be to ask each other this question, complete uh, this question with your ideas and ask each other. Um, you will see the handout in your uh, chart and also I will show it on the screen. Do you see? Do you see the uh, the file? Not yet. Not yet. What about now? Not yet. No. <laughs> uh, like in Shrek, yes. And what about yes. now? What about? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So then I will sh I will show from my screen. I will share my screen with you. So here you have uh, a survey. What's your favorite? Have you ever? Where do you usually? Are you? Do you have? Do you? How old? And so on. Uh, so your task will be to complete these questions with your ideas and uh, ask each other. So what's your favorite film, for example? Or what's your favorite coach? Or what's your favorite TED talk? Could you Elena, sorry, but uh, the uh, screen is black. Ah, okay. Uh, good. So I will like a square. Uh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. no, uh, okay. So you can say, "What's your favorite?" Yes, and you can say, "What's your favorite coach?" Or "What's your favorite psychologist?" Or "What's your favorite, I know, film?" Uh, "What's your favorite character in the movie?" So you can add anything you like yes and ask each other this question to practice more with different um, different forms of questions in different tenses so you can see have you ever present perfect yes continuous tense going to as a future form not tense maybe but form would you like to Are you as continuous? Uh, Elena, we should use all these uh, questions. No, you can no? start from the question that you like. Okay. But uh, try to use different tenses. Mm -hmm. Yulia, tell me please, what is, what's your favorite film? Um. <clears throat> That's a very difficult question, but um, right now one film got <laughs> to my mind and its name, I'm not sure I, um, I, can, um, uh, I can translate it correctly, but probably yes. The name is uh, Queen Katwe. Katwe is the name of a girl and Queen is like a queen. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love this film. Nice. Do you have a uh, do you have a sister or brother? <laughs> I do. 
<laughs> I have a sister, an older sister. How old are they? Uh, oh, she's, uh, she's 40, 40, 40, 41, I think. <laughs> yeah, she's 41 right now. Okay. Good. So you can practice, yes, uh, for example, Julia, no, you can ask Andrew and you can ask Svetlana. Julia, will you ask some questions? Yes, when did you start? When did you start learning English, Andrew? When? Great question. Uh, the start was, you know, in the, in the school. Uh -huh. but, how old were you? Uh, for, for a moment. No, no, no. How old were you when you started? Ah, the time as usually it was uh, eight years, something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was eight years old, mm -hmm. and understand what English uh, uh, the lesson I need. You know, I'm fully understand mm -hmm. just when I've been at uh, the marine school. Mm -hmm. after uh -huh. passing first courses uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. and how did you understand it uh, why only on first the time school? for first time i uh, uh, passed the border that time was soviet union you know mm -hmm. they understand i went to talk with uh, foreigner people you know and they want to uh, not so much talk how just i want to understand them yes i so, understand so for mostly for traveling yes and communicating with people is yeah yeah not for you know that time, now i understand that time i uh, not uh, so communicate just to understand what what their mind you know Yeah, so Andrew, your question. Uh, I don't know if to, to... Where do you usually make your coach session? Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a question for Svetlana, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I was on the screen, I have seen it, Svetlana. Um, you you mean online or offline? Mm -hmm. Do you mean oh. mm -hmm. what do you prefer? Ah, what I prefer? I prefer to work with clients offline in office, but usually I um, work in online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You work online usually, yeah? And uh, mm -hmm. why do you prefer to work offline? Because I can see how um, how my client feel mm -hmm. your, yourself. It's mm -hmm. like neverbal. How feel? Mm -hmm. How I understand how they feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Non verbally, yes. Mm -hmm. Not verbally, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So one more question, each and that's all. And we'll finish. One more quick question. So Andrew, or you, Julia. One last question. Yeah. So who would like to try? Do you think you will be able to <clears throat> uh, to get? To get uh, a high score, well, a high score, the highest score, let's say like this, the highest score in English, um, uh, in three months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, who wants to answer? Whatever, it doesn't matter. You can both answer. Mm -hmm. You could you repeat highest please? result. Yes, I would say. Maybe not the highest score because... Right, maybe... right. Result, yes. Result. The, the question is, what do, what do I mean by highest result? But everyone means by, by him or herself. So, do you think you will be able 
to achieve a highest result, the highest result in three months. Mm -hmm. We are talking about English, the highest result in English. Uh, I will, maybe I will try to, to, to answer. Mm -hmm. You know, the highest results for me, as I understand just now, you know, it will be just uh, to uh, listen uh, uh, coach session of MCC uh -huh. mm -hmm. coaches without any translation just to uh, you know to not to not understand to do the feel what is going on inside uh -huh. yeah it's, uh, this will be my uh, answer yeah. So do, I Thank you. Yeah. do I understand correctly? <laughs> A small coach session, right? <laughs> do I understand correctly, Andrew, that uh, your highest result in English will be the ability to listen to listen uh, MCC coach MCC uh, coach sessions? Yeah, and pass the web in, uh, webinars without any translation. Without any translation. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and to answer, to answer my first question, do you think you will be able to do it? <laughs> of answer. course, if I didn't believe uh, in self, you know, by self, who, who, who knows, yeah, who knows me better than me? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> what about you, Svetlana? The same question. Oh, my best result is uh, to Preadelate my language barrier. Uh -huh, to overcome my language barrier. Overcome. Overcome. Yeah. Overcome. Overcome. Overcome my language barrier, first of all, and uh, to um, uh, rashir it. Mm -hmm. To broaden, maybe. Broaden my word. Yeah, my vocabulary. Yeah, to increase my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. increase, yes, increase my vocabulary. And I think it's possible for me. Yeah, so quite possible. What about you, Julia? How would you answer this question? Good question. Uh, yes, Milena. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Very good question for you for the course. Uh, actually, my result, my best result would be, uh, I have already in my pipeline, actually, in my resulting pipeline, uh, it's to be able to, um, to ask clean questions, simple, clean, deep, uh, questions clear you mean yeah. uh, clear clear and clean actually it's important right you without, mean accurate, any, yeah? without any water you know i mean uh, i mean without water without this you know uh, helping kind of helping words and uh, it's uh, it will it would be a very good result if uh, i um mm, enlarge my um, my vocabulary coaching vocabulary uh because i do not practice well i practice little coaching in english but uh, when i say vocabulary it's more emotional vocabulary because we we do much we uh we speak much on emotional side uh behavior side also so it's it's actually it's everything which is coaching uh coaching related <clears throat> Great. So next topic, I think, will be emotions, right? Uh, okay. Uh, so thank you very much for answering that. Uh, and you expect, yes, to, to achieve it in three months, right? I think yeah, it's, completely, it's completely feasible. It's, yeah, that's there, is no, there is no any, you know, uh, any, anything that can stop me if I start doing and if I do it um, regularly, you know. Yeah. It's, Yes, absolutely. Absolutely feasible, I agree. Okay, and uh, to finish, I'd like, uh, so I will send you some more practice at home, yes, with uh, different tenses and the uh, help verb. Uh, do you have uh, on your phone an access to the internet? Or I think we can try it uh, also in your laptop. Mm -hmm. As you on your phone, yeah? So uh, we will have um, a game, online game, and you will need your phones to, to be able to answer questions in this game. 
Mm -hmm. So what do you need to do? Uh, so you need to follow this link on your mobile phone. I will send this link to our chat. And we will practice um, uh, practice uh, with different help verbs, but in the form of the game, online game. And we will see who will win in this game. Julia, yes, Svetlana, Andrew, uh, other people can also join if they like. Yeah, let's try. But we, we, have, you, we don't see anything actually. Uh, you yeah, know, so you can type uh, no, Kahoot. No, no. Huh? Yes. Elena, you send the link to me privately. Ah, ah, sorry. It's a private, yes, message. Okay. Uh, then you can. Uh, 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 yes, now I see that it's a private message uh, to everyone. Link. Should we should we play right now, right? Yes, we will play right now. So we should go to this website from our yes. phones, right? Yes, from your phones. Okay. One second. On the screen, you will see questions on our screen that I will share with you. And your task will be to press the correct answers on your phones. Uh. Do we have a game pin? Yes. The game you will see on the screen. questions and your task will be to press as quickly as possible. I like dogs but my mother Okay, so the but I don't understand. I didn't see the question. I just uh, see the uh, geometrical figures. You know, that's it. Yes, but questions will be on our screen. Uh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> Do you see it on the screen? Just one second. It's too difficult. For or me. On, your, on your computer, yes, in our uh, Zoom, uh, you will see questions. Yeah, do you see on our computer? I like Just dogs, but my second. mother. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
I like dogs, but my mother, and then you need to press the correct answer on your phone. Okay, so we'll see who answered correctly. Julia, okay, well done, Julia. So let's try the second, yes, next question. Okay, so I tried to, so questions you'll see on our screen, yes, in Zoom, and you task to, pr to press on your phone the correct answer. Mm -hmm. George is going to the meeting, but Mike, This is isn't. And the fastest was Julia. Again. Okay, well done, Julia. Good. I have never seen that movie. Neither neither I have, neither have, neither have I. I have never seen this movie, and the answer will be neither have I. Okay, so you, this is something that you also, uh, also disagree. So if you say, I have seen that movie, you can say, me too, yes? Uh, or uh, if, you don't, if you haven't seen, you can say, neither, and also use the help verb uh, from the main sentence. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, these help verbs helps us not only to make questions, but also to make negative sentences or short answers. Yes, Svetlana, your question. Yeah, what does it mean, neither? Neither, neither means I also, I also don't like it. I also have never seen that movie. Uh -huh. Neither means I also not. I also not. Okay, thank you. You can say, for example, um, do you speak Chinese? Um, do you speak Chinese? Yeah, do you speak Chinese? Neither I. You can say, no, I don't, and I say, ah, oh, yes, neither do I. Neither so do I. It's something that you reply, yes, you answer to. For example, um, you can say, I don't like uh, sushi. And you say, hmm, neither do I. I also don't like sushi. Oh, but it sounds like a question, ne neither do I. Yes, it sounds like a question, but this is uh, actually an answer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yelena, one question. Neither yes. do I, neither I do. Neither do I. Neither have I, neither do I, neither, and so on. Okay, good. Uh, so next, uh, so the fastest was uh, Ivan. Well done, Ivan. Good job. Uh, okay, next question. I love... I love. <laughs> Uh, I do too, or you can say me too. Um, good, and the two people answered correctly. Okay, neither if I don't love wasps, the answer will be neither do I, if I don't. Okay, next, uh, Evie, well done. I don't like avocados, so what will be? I don't like like so you the correct will be with I do so we can't say uh, so you can say me too only if for example I like I like me too yes I don't like so you can uh -huh. say but so you can say I don't like avocados hmm, I do I like but I am allergic for example I uh, like avocados if it's the opposite uh, you can say Hmm, I don't, but I don't. Yeah, so neither if uh, both of you think not. If both of you, yes, thinks not. Okay, next one. Uh, Julia, well done. I can play the guitar with my toes. <laughs> Can you? Yes, so we need uh, also with can. Yes, if it's do you, with do. If it's can you, with can. If it's have you, so the answer will be with have. 
Okay. Uh, good. So, so Evie, I'm going to have 15 children. Pay attention. I am going. I'm sorry, so this must be a mistake because, um, well, usually we say, are you? Yes, or aren't you? Okay. So, Julia, did you do your homework? Correctly, but the fastest was Julia. Okay, so we have a uh, more question. The child is not a G. Correctly, good. Julia was the fastest. I love Bali. We have five more questions. Correctly, well done. Julia, you're the leader. So far, question 11. So we have one more question. I love culture, but... I only took the button. So I love, but my brother and we need S. Yeah, doesn't. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Because it's now, present simple, I love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you like graffiti. I'm late. I'm late. Okay. Erica, because if you say M and I, it's so difficult to say. That's why they are in I. Okay. Uh, so, two more questions. I don't like accent. Two more questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like do I. Yeah, so the question correct will be do I. Uh, we will discuss it a little later. I hate to Work, yes, so I also hate mm -hmm. work. And the winner is Julia. My congratulations. So, Adina, Adina, well done as well. uh, great. So, on this optimistic note, we have to finish our lesson. Um, and uh, so, your homework uh, do, will we have uh, some kind of chat or we will have it here? Uh, we will have a, a closed group in our Facebook, and we, uh, you can um... send <laughs> there, yes? Yeah. Uh, okay, so then uh, I will send the book, uh, because we will probably take uh, a new cutting edge, at least today we tried new cutting edge intermediate, uh, so maybe we will try up intermediate, but I just want to know... Um, about the group, yes? What is the level of everyone in the group? My, I think my level is uh, pre-intermediate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so if, if it's pre-intermediate, some of you have uh, upper intermediate. So we can take... Um, so we will see the, if the majority is... Uh, pre-intermediate or intermediate, so we will take an intermediate, but we will have different uh, material from coaching, 
not adapted materials. So they will be interesting for all levels. Mm -hmm. For pre intermediate and upper intermediate for different levels. Okay, so any suggestion? Any. Um, Mm -hmm. So I see. Okay. So you can write uh, what what you think your level is, and uh, I will try to send you also the um, online test, so you'll be able to check your result. Okay. So uh, I did this online test. I don't know if I did the same, but I did online test recently. Mm -hmm. uh, I had upper intermediate. Uh, upper intermediate. Yes, actually, that's I, what I thought. I am wondering actually whether it will fit me the course because most, as far as I'm, I, I, I can, you know, I can write, um, read here, uh, pre-intermediate or intermediate level. So it's an open question whether it will be beneficial for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we 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 will we have to decide whether we will work in one group, right? right uh, with all levels, or we will have two different groups, or we will have a mixed group. For example, grammar will be uh, maybe easier, but we will have some um, authentic materials, coaching material materials that will be suitable for all levels. Mm -hmm. So vocabulary, for example, will be suitable for all levels. Yes. So this is something, yeah, that we need to discuss again. So maybe if we have this possibility, we can split into two groups, or maybe we will. I will have just uh, adjust my materials to different levels within one group for upper intermediate levels and for pre intermediate levels within one group. So it's uh, it's much harder, but it's uh, possible. Mm -hmm. But we need at least uh, maybe one two people with uh, upper intermediate level as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you very much for participation. Uh, you can uh, uh, write me. You can contact me and send uh, your questions or send uh, your recommendations or your suggestions. So I'm always free. To your feedback. Thank you very much, Elena, for Thank your you so time. Much. And Thank you for and, uh, okay. and this practice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So thank you very much for taking part in it. Okay, so have a nice uh, week, yes, and uh, hope to see you soon. Yeah, thank you very awesome. much. Thank you so much. Interesting lesson. Bye bye. See you bye -bye. soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. bye.